Chapter 5. Factory Setting and Growth Environment Every individual's innate four quotients are gradually developed through their growth environment, which includes living environment, social environment, educational environment, etc. The four quotients are likened to the four types of minerals, gold, silver, copper and iron. The total quantity of each ore and the metal content within are comparable to a person's innate potential of the four quotients. The development and cultivation of an individual's four quotients are likened to the processing and refining of these four ores. Therefore, the quantity, the metal content, and the processing and refining techniques of each ore determine the purity and quantity of the extracted metal. The higher the metal content in the ores and the better the processing and refining techniques, the higher the purity of the extracted metal. The greater the quantity of ores and the more diligent the workers, the higher the overall quantity of the extracted metal. The theory of the development and cultivation of an individual's four quotients is similar, so here we won't elaborate on that. Well, this analogy may not be very accurate, as humans are spiritual beings and their physical and mental operations are very profound, beyond the comprehension of ordinary people. From modern biology, we know that children and parents are genetically similar. However, even without any genetic mutation, their four quotients may have significant differences. Therefore, we can conclude that the four quotients of humans don't come from the physical body. The human body is just a complex and sophisticated instrument, while the four quotients can be separated from the body. Later, we will provide a more detailed analysis on this topic. Furthermore, the growth environment is crucial. Each person's development of the four quotients may vary in different growth environments. Nowadays, the education system primarily focuses on developing individuals' intelligence quotient, IQ, and cultivating various skills. Due to variations in IQ, significant differences in academic performance among individuals can be observed from an early age. Of course, IQ and education level are not directly proportional. Some people have only primary school education, but their IQ is high, whereas some have a university degree, but their IQ is mediocre. They simply have the fortune or opportunity to pursue high education. Due to the lack of emotional quotient, EQ, development in the current education system, EQ is only developed and cultivated in social and family environments to a limited extent. Only a few people with high EQ demonstrate impressive qualities. They often excel as leaders, entrepreneurs or executives. In the current school education system, there is almost no development of spiritual quotient, SQ. Only very few people with high SQ have the potential to become true innovative scientists or wise masters with spiritual attainment. Currently, schools are also promoting moral quotient, MQ, education to some extent. However, due to a severe shortage of qualified teachers and the lack of a systemic and professional training system, the development and cultivation of MQ are relatively poor for most people. 
Only very few people with a high MQ potential can truly become social elites in the backbone of the nation.